Hello, Pokemon trainers! Welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield video on iStarly TV. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Pokemon Poiple as well as its evolved form Naga Nadel or Naga Nadel? I think it's Naga Nadel in Pokemon Sword and Shield. This does require the Crown Tundra expansion. That's the only way to get it. Although if you have Poiple and Naga Nadel from your Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games, you can transfer those to Pokemon Home and then transfer them to Pokemon Sword and Shield, even if you don't have the Crown Tundra. So you can still have your, your previous Poiples um, transfer them to your game, even if you don't have the Crown Tundra. But if you do have it, or the only way to get the uh, original, the ones in Sword and Shield are with the Crown Tundra. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, there are a few steps to this. Um, and the Pokemon is actually given to you, so you actually do not have to capture it. Poiple and Naganadel are Ultra Beasts from Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. They were not in Sun and Moon. They were added in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Another thing I should point out here is a little unfortunate. Um, well, for, for the viewer, maybe. Not for me, though. Um, you can tell here I have a shiny Naganadel, which looks amazing. I actually got this one from Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon what, like a few years ago when, when those games came out, and I soft resetted for a shiny and I was able to get one. I was really happy, obviously. Unfortunately, in this, in, in Sword and Shield, you cannot get a shiny Poiple. It is shiny locked, which means that you cannot get a shiny one. That I know that's really unfortunate, but this was the only one I had to show off here. Anyways, in order to get Poiple in Pokemon Sword and Shield, you need to have completed the... Crown Tundra kind of mini storyline. Now this is the like meeting home for, uh, what's his name, Peony. And this is where you kind of meet him for all the missions and everything. And he gives you the item, the, the clues, which are the clues for the, leg the, the legendary bird Pokemon and, and uh, Calyrex. Once you complete it, you get a check mark. Once you complete, this one's for the Regis. Once you complete all of these, you get a check mark. And once you complete the legendary bird one, you also get a check mark. That basically means pretty much capturing all of these and reporting back to Peony. So once you've captured all of these and completed all of Peony's clues, again, that pretty much means completing the Crown Tundra story. When you come back here, there'll be a little cut scene with Peony and his daughter. And then after they leave, there'll be a, sh a sparkling thing on the ground here and you pick it up. And that's the mystery uh, legendary clue or the legendary clue with a question mark on it. Um, and this one is basically hinting at the ultra wormholes. From there, you're going to actually go on over pretty much across the street from here to the Max Lair Den. I believe that's over here. You can also fly there. It's, it's not that far away from here. It's actually just right here. You can also fly here, but either way, this is the Max Raid Den or the Max Lair Den or whatever it's called. This is where you do the Dynamax Adventures. And you do need to complete and therefore capture at least five Ultra Beasts in here. I think, I think once you've completed the story and you've got the mystery clue or the legendary clue with a question mark, there'll be a little cutscene here where uh, people like run out of the, the, the Raid Den. And then they say something about like there was like some kind of a wormhole or something like that. And then from there that I think what that signifies is that you're able to capture Ultra Beasts in the Dynamax Adventures now. And uh, I caught a few already as you can tell. Obviously I've caught at least five because of the fact that um, I've unlocked Poiple and that's how you unlock Poiple. Uh, I don't see where the other ones are but as you can see here these are the... Ultra Beast that I've captured, you know, original trainer named Scarecrow, that is me. These were the ones I captured in Sword and Shield, and you can see that they have the Galar mark. Um, so you must catch at least five of the Ultra Beasts in the Max Raid Den. Once you've done that, you will actually just see Poiple right here. Um, and it's actually smiling at me. It's kind of cute, I guess. Um, and then from there, all you need to do is just approach it. Um, like I said, um, you cannot get a shiny Poiple this way, unfortunately. It is shiny locked, but I'm still saving the game just to reset for a specific nature. I found it a while ago deep within the Max Lair, but the more I study it, the more questions I have. It's such a strange Pokemon. I believe it might have something to do with the current situation we're in. I really need to buckle down and focus on my research of the Max Lair, but Poiple keeps trying to wander off as soon as I take my eyes off it. 
I'd like a skilled trainer to accept Poiple and take care of it for me. You wouldn't happen to be interested, would you, Scarecrow? How does she know my name? <laughs> Just kidding. And of course you're going to say yes. And Poiple is added to your party or your, your boxes if you don't have space in your parties. Um, I hate saying the word Poiple, though, because it sounds like I'm saying purple with like an accent, like Meowth on the, on the Pokemon TV show. It sounds like I'm saying Poiple. Purple. Poiple. So here's Poiple. It's level 20. It is in a Beast Ball, which is pretty cool. And Naga Nadel, which is the evolved form, is really, really powerful. It's a dragon and poison type. Um, it has, it's really fast. It has like, I believe, base 121 speed, correct me if I'm wrong, as well as a pretty high special attack stat. So this is a really, really powerful Pokemon. Um, so I'm going to show you how to evolve it now. The way that you evolve Poiple into Naga Nadel, I believe is all you need to do is, is have it learn the move Dragon Pulse and then you level it up. So luckily for us, Dragon Pulse is a TR in Sword and Shield. Um, so that's that's that makes it really easy. If you've done a lot of Dynamax raids and you've beaten a lot of Dragon type Pokemon, then you might have a lot of extra D Dragon Pulse TRs. Additionally, you can just go to any Pokemon Center and go to the, the guy to the left. I guess I can show that here. The, the move relearner and I believe Naga, uh, sorry, uh, what's it called? Poiple. I believe Poiple learns Dragon Pulse by level up. So let's go ahead and test that out here. So once you're in a Pokemon Center, any Pokemon Center, you go over to this man on the left, you talk to him. What I'm actually going to do is admit that I might have wasted a TR because I'm going to actually forget the move just so I can prove to you that Poiple learns uh, Dragon Pulse. I believe at level one. So we're gonna delete Dragon Pulse even though I just used a TR on it. And then we're gonna go right here. You can remember a move. So I'm gonna choose Poiple. And as you can see, Dragon Pulse is the first move the first move listed there. So you just teach it Dragon Pulse, as simple as that. It doesn't matter what level your Poiple is at, although you always get it at level 20. And then we're going to see if it evolves here by giving it a rare candy. Oops, not a repel. We don't want to repel it. All right, level 21. It knows Dragon Pulse and it wants to learn Charm. We don't want that. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> Excuse me. Look at that. And you can see our Poiple is evolving. It's going to evolve into Naga Nadel. And I highly recommend this for anyone, especially if you do competitive battling, but also if you just like collecting Pokemon. This is a really, really powerful Pokemon. And it's also really cool looking. And it's a dragon and poison type, which means it has a pretty unique typing. So all around, I think this is just a really awesome Pokemon. And I do really like how they pretty much just give you this Pokemon um, as long as you complete the story and cap capture a few Ultra Beasts. So I hope this video has helped you out, showing you how to get Poiple and Naga Nadel in Pokemon Sword and Shield. This is the one I just got. As you can tell, it is no longer shiny, so it's a different one. Um, and yeah, if this video helped you out or if you enjoyed, please go ahead and leave a like and also leave a comment letting us know who your favorite Ultra Beast is. Honestly, mine is probably Naga Nadel. Um, it's really strong, but it also looks really awesome. Also, let us know what you think of the fact that it's shiny locked. Are you mad like I am? I mean, it's always fun to shiny hunt Pokemon. I know I already have a shiny one, but you know, you can never have too many shinies of awesome Pokemon. Well, I hope you're having a great day and a great week. Once again, please leave a like. Also, please subscribe to our channel for mo more Pokemon Sword and Shield content. I have been enjoying playing through the Crown Tundra, capturing a lot of Pokemon and battling, and I'm gonna keep making videos. So I'll see you all very soon. Take care. Thank you.